Well, we're here. We're at the end of the alpha phase for Elite Dangerous. Um, we've had a wonderful time, certainly at our end, hopefully at your end too. I'd like to pass on a heartfelt thanks to all those people who've backed us, both at the alpha stage and at other stages, and who have been avidly following our newsletters, watching the, the, these dev diaries. I think we're making a game that we can all be very, very proud of. Part of the alpha process is the design discussion forum have had key input here. Um, in the alpha, you know, if you think back to the discussions we had about traveling around systems and the whole idea of super cruise, and I think the way um, sort of Super Cruise now, you can actually play it. So something has gone the full cycle from being discussed in the design discussion forum, the various different options that we had, now to actually uh, playing it. I think it's one of the beauties of Alpha 4 is just seeing as you, you know, seeing that you move around systems, seeing the scale of the whole thing, really emphasize it, whether you're orbiting a, a, a star or a a complex system around a gas giant and discovering other players, you know, all of that sort of side of things I think would have been quite different except Super Cruise not being in the game as it was. So just talking a bit about some of the things that I've really enjoyed in Alpha 4, you know, feeling the contrast between the spaceships, you know, the, there's the, um, obviously we brought in the Eagle but that feels quite a lot like the Sidewinder but just specialising a bit more in combat. But the wonderful Lake on Type 9 feels, does feel big and heavy. I love the, the practical, and for those who've realised, the multi-storey cockpit um, in that ship. Very, very big ship, lots of cargo, but actually not brilliant as a fighting ship. And uh, I'm not sure if anyone, certainly at the time of recording, has actually managed to get the Anaconda yet, or find out how you get it, but it feels brilliantly big in contrast you know tr trying to I must admit trying to dock it is harder than the other ships by quite a margin <laughs> um, as many of you will find and um, I'm sure we will bring in uh, some sort of assistance to that in the way of docking computers in the, the future but this is the fun thing of the alpha just working out the things that we need um, the numerous encounters that you can have in the game I think there are 46 different encounters, many of you will have experienced them. I, we haven't seen yet on YouTube some of them, some of the more, un, more unlikely ones, but I'm sure that will come in the next days and weeks. One of the things that I, I really love is the feeling of scale that um, you get in, you get now in Alpha 4 more so than the previous Alpha phases. We've seen the galactic map zooming down from the Milky Way down to a single star. But also you see that sense of scale as you're crossing the existing systems with the, the, the really big gas giants that are prodigious in size, but as you approach them they start off as this tiny little dot. You, as you zoom in you see the rings and the rings become larger, you see some of the moons appear, you see the rings filling the screen going off the sides and then you start to see the billions of little individual particles at first they seem like that make up the rings. As you zoom in you see that they're slowly tumbling rocks then you realize that each rock is absolutely huge as you fly in amongst them and it's that sense of majesty, that sense of scale as you look across towards the planet, um, the, the, the sort of the rich, the sheer numbers of bodies and how you can lose yourself in a world that's this big. But you can, I can also see myself being chased, I mean the, the, through super crews, down into a fight or maybe I'm just hidden something here and I've left a little beacon where I can retrieve it you know the, as we build the richness in the future I love that huge that dynamic range between the microscopic and the truly vast that comes across here I it's only a backdrop for the game but it's something that really appeals to me the fact that that this or something very like it is really out there whether it's the rings of Saturn or some gas giant that we've only just seen as a blip on some graph or it, but, but it will be out there, it will have those sort of, th that beauty, that majesty as it casts shadows across the place that really makes me, it, it, it's, a, it's a stimulus of the imagination I think and that's something that I'm very excited about and we will see more and more coming together as we move into premium beta coming at the end of this month, that's May the 30th and then moving into full beta and so um, with that, I think we're making a game that we can all be very, very proud of. So I think I've been really pleased with the way our alpha process has worked. It's been enjoyable from both ends, as I've already said, and thank you very much for all those who've participated. Um, the, the next months are just as exciting as we move to premium beta and then beta. And so thank you very much for all those who've taken part and welcome to all of those who are now joining us. 
Thank you very much.